you know, honestly, people are afraid of the Old Testament. I mean, there are things in there that are strange and shocking to us. Things about holy war, things about relationships between men and women, uh, strange customs that seem bizarre and laws that seem totally irrelevant to us. And so sometimes we put this big divide between the Old and New Testaments. And, uh, and, and, and actually, uh, there is continuity between the Old and New Testament as well as discontinuity. And we can't simply sort of divorce ourselves from the Old Testament and say, well, I'm a New Testament Christian and not an Old Testament Christian. Uh, there is continuity between the two. Uh, we can see, though, how God moves his people in gentle ways. He doesn't give them lobotomies and all of a sudden turn them into modern 21st century people sharing values that we now uh, presently hold and appreciate. Uh, but, but even within the context of the Old Testament, you can see God's liberating hand at work as you compare it to the broader ancient Near East. And then through the Old Testament time period and into the New Testament time period, you see um, some, the way that God does move his people toward uh, uh, what is really grounded in creation, which is, for instance, you know, an equality between men and women.